pig company is the name we use for our pigs and um, we actually make burp syrup but as you can see in here all of these trees were surrounded by rhododendron and bracken and we couldn't get in to tap the trees so these piggies are helping us to clear rhododendron they will go through they'll knock things down they'll break it down you can see the rhododendron over there where we used to have that right through this whole enclosure and um, sort of 20 30 foot high rhododendrons and the pigs break it down we then go through with saws cut the base out and the pigs continue to trample it until it's disappeared we're based up near Inverness in the north of Scotland up in the Scottish Highlands we, we've got pigs that are here in birch forests this is almost pure birch there's the occasional beech tree there's a little bit of holly there's even um, some rowan and things like that but it's 95% birch forest um, in here the, the pigs are very happy. We also have pigs in commercial forestry where we're experimenting to see what they do to the soil there. The pigs are used for um, environmental restoration predominantly, but they also produce extremely high quality pork and we will start selling some of that pork in the fairly near future. Our pigs are all mangalitsas or woolly pigs. One just behind me, I mean to say hello. Um, they're a rare breed that originates from Eastern Europe, although we've bred from uh, English stock originally but they're extremely hardy. They're perfectly happy outdoors all year round in this environment. And we give them huge paddocks to roam, which is part of what means that they can find most of their own food. We do supplementary feed. You can see they've been fed just now, um, but they, they forage, even in winter, about 80% of their food.